now that we have successfully fetched the smart contract instance and designed front end elements it's time to actually interact with the smart contract functions let's first design login functionality so we will remove the ethereum request that we have done before and add it into login functionality so that whenever the user clicks on the login button it will ask for the metamask wallet request permission and then fetch the account address this can be done with adding a click event listener to the login button this login button is already created in html and we have saved it with the id in login button variable and also added the click event on this html element so that whenever user clicks on this button this click event will be triggered and the internal functions will be run let's add that ethereum account request line here and fetch the accounts remember this will return an array of connected accounts so let's store the first account address in the address variable that we have declared along with the web3 and my contract and now let's print this address in the span that we have declared and remove its hidden property by removing the dnone class and hide this login button by adding the same class to this button also let's console the result now what if the user changes the connected account in metamask for that we have one api called accounts changed this event will be triggered whenever the user changes the connected account in metamask wallet so when this event is triggered that means the account address will change so let's fetch the new address again and save the result in the address variable and change the printed address on the front end now let's add deposit withdraw and get balance functions like before add click event listener to the deposit button and in this internal function let's get the input value these two variables are already declared and assigned to their respective html elements using get element by id let's console the input value and now this input value should be sent to smart contract so as to deposit ethos we can access deposit function that we have declared in the bank smart contract by using the my contract variable where we have saved our smart contract instance this function can be accessed by my contract dot methods dot deposit and since we are sending information from the user to smart contract dot send will come after that if we are reading some information then dot call will be used in dot send we have to pass from address argument this will make sure that we are sending the information or transaction from the current selected account the next parameter is optional the value will be only used if we are sending values that is ethos to the smart contract from user's wallet otherwise there is no need to use value argument but here we are depositing value in ethos that is transferring ethereum from user's wallet to the smart contract we need to pass the value argument we will assign it the input value similarly withdraw function but this time we have to pass the parameters along with the functions since the withdraw function in the bank smart contract accepts argument if there are more than one arguments you can pass them by adding commas and order will be taken as declared in the smart contract functions respectively also we are sending information or transaction to the smart contract so in this send we will add address and not the value now for the get balance function we will read the current balance of user in the bank so dot call will be used and the returned value will be in the callback function either error or result we are returning an integer so our result will be directly the balance of the user let's console it and print it on our front end by using inner text functionality this is how you can bind the javascript html front end with the deployed solidity smart contract functions and create an user interface for your dap in the next part we will test this dap from front end